Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're checking out a photo exhibit that showcases three distinctly different sets of wildlife photography. We're in the Nature's Best Photography Magazine Award and this exhibition normally shows in the Smithsonian in Washington. We pick the big games for the jungle for this section. So here is the big cats and the giraffe and the animal like this. How is nature photography different from other types of photography? In this section I think there's a few of them that have humor in it. The big cat are always exciting, they're always like special, everybody loves them. This photograph I think is very nice because of the humor in it. It's a, it's a very special, I mean obviously the cub is trying to show that he's a bigger man and the mother doesn't really believe it. And how did the photographers get these photographs? Those guys, they, they risk their life to do that. I think what they want to show is their respect for nature basically. The title of this one is Giraffe Necking. And I think you can have a play on word on this one. Are they fighting? Are they kissing? Are they playing? There's a very human appeal to it and that's why I like this picture. So now we're in the Vincent Meunier section of the exhibition. Why don't you tell us a bit more about this world-class photographer? Vincent is a very special person. He won his first prize, he was 14 years old, and then now he's barely 30 and won the Wildlife Photographer of the Year award three times. He's the only person who ever done that. He likes to go where it's cold, minus 60, minus 80, that's what he thinks is fun. This is from Kanchapka in Russia. One of his inspiration was a photographer from Japan that was killed by one of those bears and he wanted to go Go back and he went there and photographed them and now we're seeing like a cub being harassed by flies and he's trying to stand up to them. And what type of animals does he like to focus on? I think he likes the fragile animal and he wants to show how animals can survive in such a place where nobody else can survive. So a lot of birds but also the bigger animal like muskox. These are muskox from Norway. I think what Vincent likes about these animals is the fact that they go about in minus 60 temperature there's almost no food there and they're very resilient and that's what attracts him to them. Now we're in the National Geographic section. What more can you tell me about the National Geographic Society? National Geographic is one of the best and first organizations to do research on animals. The president, in fact, was Graham Bell, who invented the phone. We got many pictures from their museum. It's about the water mammal, and we have the big whales. We have narval, we have beluga, and all the killer whales. This beluga is from Canada. In fact, it's in from Nova Scotia. There's some uh, excursion that goes there, and uh, people can go and try to take picture of them. 